What is up, friends and family? It's time to start episode five of the Hunt for Shocklands. The series is going pretty good, so we're going to keep it going today with at least... We're going for one Boros Charm and one Shockland. Send home Guild Mage, Mark for Death, a Doom Veteran, Ames Beast. Okay, not really the start we're looking for. Pack one, but that's where we got five more packs to go, including a foil card back here. Aetherize. Gruel Charm, it's a charm, not the only one. It's Cinder Elemental and Blind Obedience with a Leyline Phantom foil. Another wasted token slot. I guess I got spoiled for Battle for Zendikar, not like I always got wasted token slots now. And Battle for Zendikar definitely was not like that. Coseared Confession, Mental Vapors, Wasteland Viper. I don't know why I said that weird. And an Ogre Slum Lord. Evidently, I need to learn to talk. Another wasted token slot. Halfway through the packs today, can we make a Shockland happen? Um. Gift of Orzova, I like this card just for the fact of it's like the main picture for the Commander podcast, which if you haven't listened to them, you should go do that. Alpha Authority, Orzov Kirun, and a Whispering Madness. Pretty cool artwork on that card, but nothing else really to say about it. All right, should be about time for our Boros Charm. Skag Guildmage, Skirk, Skirk Guildmage, Demir Kirun. Guardian of the Gateless, and a Molten Primordial. That's the first Primordial we've gotten, which is a Primordial for each color. Last pack of the day. Will we make it, or will we bust? That's the question. Zamic Guildmage. Zamic? Zamic Guildmage. Crackling Perimeter. Knight of Obligation. And a High Priest of Penance. Well, guys, that's week five, and it's definitely a bust. I mean, that was like some really, really bad rares. 